is American Reverend Zachariah Jackson from the Church of What's Happening Now. I'm again, I'm traveling, you know, uh, just left Stone Mountain, so you'll see that video. And uh, it's an honor to be down here in Georgia. And I, um, I, can't, I couldn't say that I would have liked to left Atlanta without visiting Macon this year, because this year is special for me because uh, uh, in 18, uh, 1864, 62, uh, my grandmother uh, was 11 years old and uh, emancipation was only a year away. And uh, at that time she was in Perry, Georgia before they moved up to Macon. And you know, I, I sit down and I think about that a whole lot and it don't hit all the family the same. You know, some people take it in. You know, you always have somebody in the family that's gonna hold the gate that's going to close the door, that's going to, going to honor this right here. And to me, I've just been thinking about uh, a great grandmother that I never met, you know, that I never met, but I just, the stories that was told, and I said, you know what, i, I got to come down to Georgia. And I talked to my guard sister, and I come down to Atlanta, and then a, a friend of mine at the job told me she wanted some pecans, so after this interview, you guys need to show me where I get some pecans, <laughs> some pecans. And I said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down to Macon and, and driving 75 down to Macon and everything and, and just feeling the whole thing of this right here because, you know, come across some of these roads and I believe that some of my ancestors on the Marsha side, especially, especially, you know, either I'm riding over their graves or road past maybe old houses that they might have built. I heard some of them built old, old what we call the day shanty uh, little houses or whatever. So it's an honor again to be in Macon and then riding down this street here, I, 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 you know, of course you, you, you can't miss the signs. I'm, uh, I'm uh, Albert Hall running for uh, sheriff. And then when you see the pictures, you know what I mean? You know, I'm coming from up north, but when you see the pictures, you say, wow, a black man running for sheriff, you know what I mean? Let me stop and try my best to do an interview. So would you? Come a little closer then. All right. Thank you. It's nice uh, to meet you. Uh, uh, likewise, and I hear that you're a rabbit. Yes, I am. God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. So what is it that, uh, 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 Mr. Hall, that uh, make you want to run for sheriff? Well, Macon is well overdue for a sheriff. Okay. Uh, the criminals and the crime, has, has, they, they've gotten out of the box. Okay. But it's time for a new type of leadership. All right. It's time for a sheriff who will get out of the box. Okay. With new innovative ideas, a way to decrease crime and not just keep the same old quota, but to come up with something new. A sheriff that would be more hands-on and working with the people. Exactly. You have to be close to the community, close to uh, the environment to know exactly what's going on. You must be familiar with your community. Yes. When I, it can't just be stationary and behind the office door. This is true. You must get out. You must get out. You must get out. So now, how is this unfolding? What's, what's happening now? Who are you running against? Well, right now, there are some other candidates that are involved in the sheriff race, but uh, as far as the best candidate, I am the best candidate. And I believe And the most qualified candidate. And your, your qualifications come a lot also from the clergy, because you're used to working with people. You hear this the pain of many. This is true. This is true. After being with the sheriff's office and being behind the pulpit and ministering God's word, uh, it keeps you on task, and God keeps you on task as long as you're staying close to him. And that's a good thing. So now, what... Once you get in office, I imagine you would take office in January. Is that how that worked out? Yes, January the 1st. January 1st. Now, when is the voting day here? Uh, July 31st is, is the primary, and okay. this is the day uh, that all voters need to get out and go vote and vote for uh, the next sheriff, which would be Albert Hall. Albert Hall. And, and, and once you're in office, what, what would be your first task? Well, the first task you, you, any manager has to do is go in and evaluate his department. Okay. You must go in and evaluate the personnel, the beverage department, to see what changes need to be to be done inside. Then you go into the community because now you equipped your office to go out into the community okay. to evaluate the community and see what actually has to be done first. Okay. And so uh, your your tutelage uh, along the way, your journey to becoming the sheriff, mm -hmm. uh, your journey has helped you to be more involved with the people. So you you would be a sheriff that someone would come up to and say, Sheriff Hall, can I talk with you for a minute? Certainly. Or can I come to your office like as I walked in this office? It's one thing about a sheriff, he must be open to the people, sure. open to the public. When I was uh, uh, at the sheriff's office, I did 28 years with the sheriff's office, and I retired as a captain. Oh, I've okay. been administrative, I've been on the patrol, I've been shot at, I've been going through all these things, 
out there. I know what those officers go through. But not only that, in the midst of me preparing myself to go in the way that I feel like I need to be going, that God has led me to go, mm -hmm. uh, I've prepared myself. Okay. I've, I've, I've educated, I have a bachelor's degree in, in management, sure. I have a master's degree in management, I'm certified by the U.S. Marshal Service, certified by the University of Georgia, oh, okay. certified by professional standards, uh, recognized by the Secretary of State, recognized by civic organizations. Okay. I've prepared myself in that so that I can be the best sheriff that this county has ever seen and will ever have. Because you'll be the sheriff of the whole of county. Of the entire county. I'm not just obligating myself to a particular set of people, but to all people. All the people. And that right there is what we need today. We need politicians today, or we need sheriffs and elected officials, I should say, that's going to work with all the people that won't be biased. And understand also that we come with, most of us come with some kind of broken heart. And it's your job to help mend that heart. And I can do it both ways, both sides of the coin. All right. So give us the date and how can they reach you? Once again, uh, the election date is, is July 31st, the primaries. We need everyone to get out and vote. And vote for Albert Hall, be a county sheriff. All right. He's a man with common sense. He's a man with common sense because of his journey. And that right there is more of what we need today. We need people that's hands-on. So many times we have elected uh, people, officials, and sheriffs, and, and things of that nature that's so distant, so distant. You know, uh, I was coming down uh, 75, and I got a, a note from uh, uh, Channel 7, Eyewitness News in New York, and they said that Andy Griffin has died. Yes, yes. And, you know, Andy Griffin was the sheriff for most of us for, for <laughs> so long, and we knew his job. So... Welcome to Andy Griffin Church. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Goodbye.